Hello guys, this is Glenn from Sydney CBD Repair Center and today we have an Apple Watch Series 6, 40mm version and we're gonna replace the back glass and let's show you how we do it. So this Apple Watch Series 6 is in need of a back glass replacement. That's the back portion of the Apple Watch. That's quite critical in monitoring your heart rate, your other statistics. And this happened that the owner dropped it on its back. And this is kind of a rare case when you see here in the shop that we always repair broken front glass like this one uh, this one fell on its back so it broke the sensors and of course the glass and it's kind of also essential when you need to recharge the apple watch so we it is a very important type of repair so we already removed the front glass we are very careful so that we can reuse the same display later on when we reassemble the whole thing and the problem with this one is you have to disassemble the whole thing so we have shown you uh, how we replace the front glass and this one the battery before but we haven't really shown you how we replace the back glass or the back component of this one so the tricky thing is we have to remove all things that is coming between us and the back glass. So we are removing a lot of tiny screws right here. So David here is kind of been learning a lot lately of, about the Apple Watch and its intricacies. So we can rely on him by uh, he always manages to repair these things on first try because David is kind of a Samsung expert and now he's also an Apple watch expert I dare say so here are some small components when you see traditional watchmaking these are the same components in terms of size right here but all albeit it they are all electronic based not mechanical so we're gonna still remove some brackets screws connectors and cables out of this thing and also some of the pads for the buttons and right now we're gonna remove the defective back glass and as you can see here there's no aesthetic damage no physical damage but it's not really working as of the moment so we're gonna pull it out and replace it with a new one so on the front glass and the back glass it, those are held on by adhesives you can see here those are the glue that holds your Apple Watch together. And we're gonna ca cannibalize this board and remove all the components that we are gonna transplant over to the replacement backless. You can see in the top portion of the screen. So do we recommend that you DIY your own Apple Watch uh, back glass replacement? I say you should not attempt to do this due to the complexity and the size of the components that you're dealing with. When the iPhone, you can just re remove some stuff because it's kind of easy to manage. They are a lot bigger in size. And the scale in this one is kind of really really small so just to be on the safe side you should go to your trusted um, apple watch repair center 
or you can visit Sydney CBD or Power Center and let's see what we can do with your Apple Watch. So right here, David has finally transplanted all the things that has to be transplanted to the replacement back glass and has put a fresh glue on the chassis. So we're gonna marry them together. It's kind of tricky because you're holding three separate components together and align them and then press them together so they can adhere to each other and we also have to manage the cables that are going through some slots make sure we don't forget those this is a closer look So you also have to remember the order and the placement of each screw. Some components will not work or even the whole Apple Watch will not boot up when you don't put uh, the correct screws or the complete screws on the screw holes. So we're gonna reassemble the whole thing now. Just reverse it. And this is where the attention to detail comes into uh, play. It benefits you if you remember the sequence of the actions that you have made to disassemble the whole thing. But if you're just messing around and you want to just poke around your old Apple Watches, then just go. So we're gonna put the remaining screws here. As you can see, there's also the Taptic engine and the battery. You see the silver uh, rectangle on the right side is the battery, the Taptic engine. So this is just a small battery compared to your smartphone. And it's a marvel that the software can manage this tiny bit of battery source or power source. So there's no knowing if the smartphone or the Apple Watch is gonna work without fully this reassembling the whole thing. So you have to put back the components, the battery, the cables, so that you can test it on a charger if it works or on your wrist if it's tracking your heartbeat or blood pressure. So we're in the final phase now, we're going to marry the display to the chassis. So this one also requires fresh glue to be applied to the chassis and then press them together. So you might want to suggest that we can test it on a charger without putting them together at first, but it's really a matter of doing it right the first time so that you don't have to redo what you already reassembled. So these are just the clamps to cure the glue, let it dry, make sure everything is intact, then remove it and clean up the gunk or the excess glue that has been pushed out when you press them together. So right here, we're all almost done. Then we're gonna test it if our operation has been successful. This is the charger. Turn it on, turns on. And you can see that it's working. It is neat. So we're gonna put a free cover. This is not a glass, just a plastic cover over the Display, and I'll let you see how we how a tiny plastic cover is applied to an Apple Watch.
we peel off the top portion and then press it to the display and we're done. Thanks for joining guys, till next time, cheers! If you want your smartphone fixed for a very reasonable price, you may contact Sydney CBD Repair Center. We also provide mail-in repair services for customers outside of Australia or Sydney. Just message us so we can arrange the shipping of your device.